What about what I want? What do you want? Peace. Oh, that's beautiful. No. That's essential. <sighs> Poor Oliver, he is a mess. Really? I, I thought he seemed pretty... Did you see his tie? What about it? The knot. It was a foreign hand. Oliver uses a full Windsor on Wednesdays. And that Shakespeare quotable change? Well, that's not Shakespeare. It's Marcus Aurelius. Who's going to tell him? The author would be 15 or 16 now? Precisely. And no doubt on the cusp of losing their naive and unmerited trust in both people and institutions in which they once placed their faith. Let's do our best to not hasten that loss of innocence, shall we? We have erred, Miss McInerney. Making assumptions we shouldn't have. It might be time to admit defeat and move on. You haven't forgiven her, have you? <sighs> Forgiveness is doing the right thing, Oliver. That has to happen first, and then you'll just, you'll just know what to do next. What did you do? out and I bought a board swing. I think in five minutes he could be opening up the letter and finding out that he has a date on Friday with the love of his life. Well, perhaps he has since met a waitress from Olive Garden and is expecting twins <laughs> and taken up work as a grouter of bathroom tile. Well, well, not a chance. Not our child. But I believe absolutely that what we do here does make a difference. <laughs> That's the Norman answer. <laughs> Come on, O'Toole. Mess what? up. <laughs> hey. Do you know what I'd like to do? Right now. <sighs> it was a long winter. Spring is almost here. What does that mean, anyway? It means it's time to get back to work. <laughs>